Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to see the concept of prevent partial deliveries, how to prevent partial deliveries in purchase orders and sales orders in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. If you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankaran and I have been constantly posting videos, articles and documents related to Dynamics 365. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Okay. So first, let's understand the concept of how why this partial delivery uh, prevention is required okay so let's say i'm just using a whiteboard uh, please excuse me for the fonts so in order to elaborate the concept let's say from my vendor i'm getting an item uh, i'm maybe i'm releasing a processing a purchase order uh, purchase order po for a specific item so i'm whenever i process the purchase order I want to ensure that the vendor always deliver the full quantity. I just don't want him to deliver partial quantity. Okay. So let's say as a company C, uh, whenever I process the purchase order, I process the purchase orders to them in multiples of 100 maybe. Uh, but at the same time, I don't, don't want the vendor to deliver the material in terms of if I, for example, if I make an order for under quantity, I just don't want him to deliver in 40 or uh, or maybe 50 or maybe 10 or whatever it may be uh, so i just don't want him to deliver in terms of partial quantity right so that's what i just want to ensure uh, whenever i complete my product receipt i always want him to deliver 100 quantity against the purchase order so similarly at the same time as a trader when i am going to build this material uh, to a customer yes uh, by raising a sales order SO, uh, I just always want to ensure this should be built in under quantity or whatever the quantity I raise in the sales order for the same under quantity I want the packing slip to be posted I want the packing slip I'm just writing it as PS uh, so I want the same under quantity also need to be posted in the packing slip I just don't want a, partial packing, packing slips to be posted in our system so i just don't want uh, packing slips in multi, maybe 10 or 1 or 20 i just don't want in those quantities right i just don't i just want to make a packing slip for entire 100 quantity so that's what we are going to see um, how to do it in dynamics 365 let's get into the system right so first i'll open my purchase order uh, parallelly i'll open another tab the on and inventory to get a visibility about for which I need to raise a purchase order and sales order. So let me just open any of the approved purchase orders already available in the system. And uh, another tab, I am also opening the on and inventory. Um, so let's say, so this is the item which is already approved uh, for one quantity. And uh, okay, I think I have already have stock for this item. Let me check the system once again. Yeah, we have stock for this item. I will choose this item again once again and remove this line. Uh, yes. So I'm going to raise a purchase order for this particular item um, D0024 in the system, right? I click on add line. I enter the item number and then uh, I give the quantity as 10. Okay. And I just don't want the vendor to deliver any quantity in a one shipment which is less than 10. I want just need only one shipment from the vendor with 10 quantity. Okay. I just want to complete only one product receipt against this purchase order 0036. In order to do that, if you scroll down in the line detail section under general tab, we have an option called prevent partial delivery. Just enable this prevent partial delivery and then save the purchase order. And now we are going to confirm this purchase order and uh, and then going to proceed for uh, uh, receiving it. So I just confirm. I'm just confirming this purchase order. So once I confirm this purchase order along with this uh, toggle enable prevent partial delivery. So now if I go to product received and then uh, try to complete, I'll just give a product receipt number and then. If I try to complete a product receipt which is less than 10 quantity, so actually I have not given any under delivery or over delivery tolerance percentage here. So let's say I am trying to, vendor has given me only 5 quantity, maybe 6 quantity. 
and uh, with of which let's say we will give nine quantity okay so with of nine quantity i have delivery meter one i just want to complete the product receipt so now once i once i click on okay system will not allow me to complete the product receipt because we have enabled your yeah, we have got the error message so which says line must be delivered in total right so i cannot complete a product receipt with a partial delivery so i can accept only full delivery against this purchase order so this is a line level setup which is available so whenever we want to have only the full delivery receipts from the vendors we need to ensure that we enable this toggle so now once again i need i'm going to go back i'm just going to product receipt and uh, otherwise if i do a full product receipt then system will not uh, going to stop me from completing the product receipt journal posting so now we are doing the product receipt for 10 quantity now i think uh, we have successfully posted it and the receipt journal is also created right so so in that was 113 i think thonan must be updated so yeah i think there was already thousand quantity must be available in the stock so this code updated so this is how you control the partial delivery um, in case of purchase orders you prevent the partial delivery in case of purchase orders. similarly in case of sales orders also if i go to accounts receivables click on sales orders i'll just uh, click on any of the open orders which are already available in the system then i will add the same item which we have in stock in 113 so i'll add the item number then uh, going to give the quantity as uh, 10 and then uh, it is in 113 okay so i'll save the sales order and now in this case i'm going to process the packing slip first let me confirm the sales order so after confirming the sales order i'm going to process the um, packing slip posting uh, during the time of packing slip posting system is going to check whether uh, actually we have not enabled the prevent partial delivery so just the important setup so let us enable it um, so since i have enabled it let me do a confirmation again so so uh, we have actually enabled this prevent partial delivery toggle and now if i go to pick and pack post the packing slip um, and then uh, i'm going to post a packing slip for maybe a quantity okay so now if i click on ok we are we will get the same error message like the line order quantity should be in total for the total quantity only we should be able to process the packing slip so this is the error message which you are getting right line must be delivered in total so the system will not allow us to complete the partial deliveries so if i disable this toggle i save it then uh, once again i post my confirmation shun journal and then uh, i'll go to pick and pack then uh, click on post packing slip uh, now we have disabled the toggle right so now i will uh, go for proceeding the packing slip with two quantity i'm not sure whether it will ask us to pick the material uh, that should be based on the picking requirements so the system has not asked us to pick the material because system has auto automatically picked the material from the one hand so now if i go to the packing slip the the line got posted so there was no restriction in doing the partial uh, delivery right so so this prevent partial delivery will be highly helpful in those cases where you want where you don't want to um, um, either receive partially from your vendor or dispatch partially to your customers so this feature will be highly helpful in your real-time business scenarios um, hope you enjoy the video today thanks for watching the video and to get regular updates please do follow my profile and uh, i'll see you soon in another video tomorrow thank you